let me let me close with the humanitarian aspect. Uh, I appeared on several interview shows today, and what the press was trying to get me to say is they were all a bunch of racists in Southwest Virginia. Yeah. And I responded, "Yeah, I and I reminded them that we are a melting pot, just like all of California." Yeah. Yes. Almost 27 percent of our population in Murrieta is Hispanic, and we have a Hispanic community. Yes. Yeah. The original reason to not have these folks come to Murrieta for processing was because of the lack of facilities. That reason has not changed. When we toured the facilities on Monday, what we saw was a jail. If you are concerned about being a humanitarian, you do The facility that we have here in Murrieta has rooms that will accommodate 30 to 40 people each. That facility is Spartan. There are steel benches, there are blankets in a corner, and there is a concrete floor. There is one potty in each one of these facilities it is against the wall. There is a wall uh, on two sides, about three feet high. So there is absolutely no privacy, no washroom facilities, no shower facilities, and the food that is provided would be the Border Patrol equivalent of a meal, meals ready to eat, or anything that maybe faith-based groups would provide. That is not humanitarian. That is not what Southwest Riverside County is about. <laughs> so <clears throat> we are doing two things. We are standing up for the United States Constitution. And we are Standing up for treating people in a dignified, humane way and putting them in jail.